What's going on everybody? This is Mason. You are tuning into the YouTube channel Wasatch Pub. Guys, hope you're on a fantastic day, fantastic week. Thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Guys, today we are going to be talking about my 10 most valuable Funko Pops in my collection. So how we're going to break this down is we're going to be talking about, well, obviously how much they're worth and um, how I got them. So pretty much some fun stories that are going to be in here and some pretty crazy value as well. I will have to say my collection has definitely grown a lot since I started a couple of years ago. Been able to track down some really cool pieces that I've really wanted in my collection and I've been very lucky. I, I have to say that I have been very lucky as well in getting some of these. So Rudy, do you have anything to say before we get started, bud? No? Okay. Well, I guess without any further ado, let's get started. All right, guys. So coming in at number 10, we have this guy right here. This is the two can Sam. Now I have to double check and see when this pop came out. I know it's been a little bit on this guy. It came out in 2018, obviously Funko Shop exclusive. So um, I wasn't lucky enough to get this one uh, when it first came out, like on the Funko Shop, because that was back when their site was trash. I mean, some people would argue with me and still say that their site is trash, which occasionally it does have its difficulties. But um, anyways, and so that was back in the day when you didn't know when anything, like what was gonna be dropping and stuff. It was all just really random and everything. I got lucky enough to do a trade with somebody. So back in the day I had, I think it was a glow in the dark, Lucky the Leprechaun and also an Elvira chase. And now back then, it was a pretty good trade because this guy was trending for a pretty penny and stuff. And it was two pops, you know, I already had the original Lucky the Leprechaun. So and I felt like, you know what? We don't really need another one. And I'd rather have Toucan Sam, obviously, right? And so anyways, guys, pretty cool pop. I think this is probably one of my favorite ad icons. I think out of my whole collection, yeah, this is probably the most valuable ad icon I actually have. I've been pretty selective lately of my ad icons that I want in my collection because there's just so many of them. And so I figured I want to focus on the ones that I really, really like and the ones that are the serial mascots. I feel like that is a good way to kind of narrow it down. So I don't have so many random ad icons. Anyways, guys, this is number 10. Toucan Sam. Okay guys, coming in at number nine. It's crazy to think that this has gone up so much in price. Um, and at one point, I didn't even have a pop in my collection that was worth this much. But anyways, so this is at $200 guys. And this is the exclusive to the Mariners Ballpark Ken Griffey Jr. And now if you guys have followed this a little bit, if you know a little bit about this pop, came out in, let's double check here, came out in 2018. Obviously it was a giveaway promotion for the Seattle Mariners. And there was three different pops that you could get. There was this one, one in him in a different Jersey, I believe. And then was it a bronze or a gold one? Those ones are going for crazy prices, but it's crazy to me to know that this guy right here is going for a crazy price, even though he was the most common. But this is the only way that you've been able to get Ken Griffey Jr. that I can think of. Um, and yeah, the, the way that I was able to get this, obviously I didn't attend the game in Seattle, the Mariners game, but I did have somebody that had connections and um, they were able to get one and then they sold one to me. I, I believe it was probably for like 25 or 30 bucks, which looking back at that now, that's a pretty good investment. And you know, I love sports pops and this I think has to be my most valuable sports pop in my collection. So if you guys want to take a quicker look at that, I just, it's classic Ken Griffey Jr., you know, in his home run stance and just an overall really cool pop. Probably one of the best baseball pops that are out there. And then you can see the same thing. And then on the back, it has Ken Griffey Jr., Mariners logo and the pop again. So there you guys go. Coming in at number nine, Ken Griffey Jr. Coming in at number seven, guys. Um, this one is really cool too. So this was a Disney Parks exclusive. I think you, I already showed it to you on camera, but this is the Indiana Jones Adventure Temple of the Forbidden Eye. And so this is based off of the Indiana Jones ride that is in Disneyland. One of my favorite rides at Disneyland. Like I said, this guy is trending for $210 according to the Funko app. It came out in 2016. So this is definitely a little bit of an older pop. Only way that you could have gotten it back then was at the parks. I they might have sold this one online as well, but it was probably pretty limited quantities. So how I was actually able to get a hold of this one was, um, you guys know the app, whatnot, um, the auction app and everything. They reached out to me um, and they wanted to give me a grail pop and talk about their services and selling stuff and, and whatnot. And I picked this one and um, yeah, I think I picked a pretty good one. Whatnot was very generous to give this to me to kind of just talk about their app and everything. But overall, I thought this was a really cool pop. I was, you know what, I, I'm trying to remember if I was into collecting at this point 
or if I really knew what Funko was in 2016, I might have. But um, yeah, I'm really happy to have this in the collection. Obviously, there's other Indiana Jones pops that are out there, but this one is the only one that I have and is definitely a really solid one to get. But if you guys are wondering, there's kind of the more of the back of the box right there and kind of explains the whole situation with like the ride and stuff. Anyways, guys, Indiana Jones, number eight. So from 2017, this was a San Diego Comic-Con. Yeah, San Diego Comic-Con exclusive limited to 2000 pieces so it's pretty it's pretty limited and it's this guy right here this is the stupor daffy duck and so the only way that you were able to get this was they had like a pop-up shop i believe it was like a saturday morning actually says on the front right here saturday morning cartoons san diego comic-con 2017 and it was like a pop-up shop that they had a bunch of warner brothers stuff in there was another one that was like a bugs and hide two pack from looney tunes and that one's crazy valuable that's one that i'm missing out of my looney tune set but um yeah so what happened was obviously i didn't attend san diego comic-con or anything or was able to go to that pop-up shop but what happened was this was back in the day where they had very minor very slight amounts of inventory left over that they would save for the funko shop and you just had to be there at the right place at the right time in order to get this pop or else you'd be paying obviously a good amount for this and so i was lucky enough to able to snag one off of the Funko shop when it dropped, which is insane and everything. But did I even say the price on this? I don't remember, 280 bucks, which is crazy. I think it's been like in the 300, maybe even $400 range at one point. But anyways, guys, like I said, was lucky enough to get this guy. I'm a huge Looney Tunes fan. And so this was a definite must have for me. And there gives you a closer look. So he's got the Superman logo donned right there. And um, yeah, there's another look on the back right there. And I think this was before they came out with more commons like Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck. So on the back, you will see the Duck Dodger set. But anyways, guys, this, is an awesome pop, and this is in at my number seven spot. Coming in at number six, this one, the value might be a little bit misleading, and you will see why, but we're gonna just throw it in here anyways, because according to the Funko app, this is my sixth most valuable pop. This came out in 2019, was a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, and one of the coolest two packs that I own, this is the Carl and Ellie Up two pack. So there you guys go. Man, the glare on that is awful because there's a pop protector on that. But um, this is probably one of the coolest two packs that are out there. The way that I was able to get this, oh, and I, I didn't even tell you the value. The value of this, $290. So like I said, this could vary because this is the shared sticker exclusive rather than the actual convention sticker. So it's probably closer to like a hundred and something. It would have made this list, right? So. We'll just keep it at what spot it's at right now. But um, yeah, I was able, they shared this pop with Box Lunch and that was the way that I was able to get this. And I don't think a lot of people saw this one being super valuable. A lot of people really liked it because the molds are on point, guys. I mean, it's Carl and Ellie as kids. Definitely a classic scene from the movie. And I, honestly, it's probably one of the best two packs of all time, in my opinion. But um, yeah, I don't think a lot of people saw this you know, exploding the way it did in price, but lucky to have it. I'm a huge Pixar fan. And so I'm happy to have this in the collection. So this is coming in at my number six spot, the uh, Carl and Ellie two pack. Woo! Guys, we're about halfway through. Well, actually we are halfway through. So um, we're gonna move on to number five. This one is a part of probably one of my favorite lines to collect. This one came out in the, you know, beginning days of Funko in 2011 and is trending on the Funko app, according to the Funko app, 380 bucks. This is Bart. Simpson, the original Bart Simpson. And this is, I think, number three in the television line. You know something's gonna be fairly valuable if it's super old and it's kind of, you know, one of the beginning ones in that line. I think it's cool that they started off Simpsons with the television line. I guess you could argue it could be an animation as well. But um, yeah, I got a really good deal on this one. So this was coming from Colors Funko Pops, I believe, over on Instagram. And um, what I did was I sold off some of my old pops in order to get this one. He gave me a really solid deal on it as well. And um, yeah, overall, I, I don't think there's really any damage to it, which is really hard to find with pops that are this old, over 10 years old. And so, like I said, this is one of my favorite pops in the collection. And it's just interesting to see kind of how the molds of pops have evolved. You know, it's kind of a little bit different now. It's just a little stockier looking, 
back in the day, back in 2011, but this definitely looks really cool. And I'm glad to have this in the collection. Um, well, a little bit of a spoiler for you. Maybe we'll just talk about it later. But anyways, guys, coming in at number five, we have Bart. Simpson. Okay, next up guys, this was a part of that Saturday morning cartoons thing that I talked about for San Diego Comic-Con. This came out in 2017 and is limited to a thousand pieces. Guys, this is the Looney Tunes Pete Puma. And so this one is definitely a pretty solid pop. Really hard to track down the fact that it's a thousand pieces, but it is trending just as the same price as Bart for 380 bucks. And now obviously I wasn't able to go to San Diego Comic-Con to go to that pop-up shop. So the story on this guy was I was browsing Mercari and I came across Pete Puma and it was in really good condition and had been up for not very long. And so I messaged the seller, made him an offer. I think they were listing this for like, I don't remember, like 85 and I offered him 75 and they sold it to me. And looking back at that now, it's gone up like crazy, like over $300 in value. So I definitely got a good deal on this guys. I don't know about you, but I, I think I got, came out pretty good on this. But Pete Puma guys, really cool pop. And it's, um, I don't know, it's honestly, well, obviously it's gonna be one of the harder Looney Tunes to track down because it's so limited, but um, yeah, pretty cool. And on the back right there, it's just gonna show the Duck Dodgers pops. But um, guys, this one, very valuable. I love the Looney Tunes, happy to have it in the collection. Coming in at number four, Pete Puma. So if you guys know what I'm a fan of, you probably know what remains in the last three pops, but this came out, was in one of the original pops back in, well, it says it 2012. Maybe it's 2011. I don't know, according to the app, it says 2012. But anyways, guys, this is a $400 pop, and it is the one, the only, Mr. Homer Simpson. And honestly, this one is really awesome as well. And I got it from the same person I got Bart from. So for Colors Funko Pops, I, you know, something that I like to do, and I don't know if people like this or not, but I find uh, pops on like Facebook Marketplace for really cheap that are worth a lot, and that is able to, you know, to sell, to trade up to something more valuable. And so in reality, I probably spent a fraction of what this is really worth. So it's pretty awesome, but I'm a huge Simpsons fan, and this was one that I definitely needed. And uh, Colors Funko Pops gave me a great deal on this as well. So always big shout out to him. He's a big Simpsons collector, and I don't I don't know how he had two of these, but he did have two. And so that was how I got this guy. But um, yeah, so if you guys know how this video is going, you might be able to guess the last two. But um, Homer J. Simpson, he's got his little donut right there, side of the box, back of the box with the rest of the pops. Really solid. That's my number three most valuable pop. Coming in at number two, you know, talking about my one of my favorite things. Um, that I enjoy is The Simpsons. So, you know, we can't leave out this pop right here. Came out that same year, turning for 460 bucks. We have the one, the only, Marge Simpson. And like I said, it's kind of interesting to see how these pops have come a long way. It'd be interesting to see what they'd make Marge like nowadays. It would definitely look a lot better. And maybe, I don't know. It's just, these molds are just classic, right? They just look different. But um, yeah, I got this one. Is it, I'm trying to remember what the place is called. Is it Morse Comic Book Stash? I, I'll have to double check and see where I got this from, but it was from a shop back east and they had this before it went up like crazy in price. It was listed at like 300 and something. And now, like I said, it's at like 460. And so I got this for a really good deal and they said it was damaged, but I can't really remember where the damage, well, oh, actually, okay, it's in this corner, but it's very, very slight. And guys, it is hard to find a pop this old in that good of condition, but I got a really good deal online for that. Obtained this the same way that I got, you know, Bart and Homer was able to sell some stuff, trade off some stuff in order to get this. And so there you guys go. There's Mark Simpson. It'd be interesting to see if they make any more pops of her in the future. But um, yeah, and then the back looks the same as the other ones. So coming in at number two, the one and only Mark Simpson. Most valuable pop in my collection. This has some layers to it for sure. This definitely has a story behind this. This came out in 2017, just like Stupor Duck, New York Comic Con exclusive. And this is the one, the only, my most valuable Funko Pop in my collection, Speedy Gonzalez. And this guy's is at $500. This is limited to 3,500 pieces. So it's more than the Daffy Duck, 
but it's definitely not a ton of pieces. And so this guy has just exploded in value recently. You know all the controversy with Pepe Le Pew and how he was taken off of Space Jam and all that fun stuff because of just the way his character is. And it makes sense, obviously, kind of, if you look into it. But um, a lot of people were saying Speedy Gonzalez was gonna get canceled. And I'm like, why would he get canceled? He does nothing wrong. Obviously, he kind of represents like the Hispanic culture and stuff with like, you know, how he talks and all that stuff. but. I mean, I don't see, I don't know. I don't ever see Speedy Gonzalez ever getting canceled. But um, yeah, I was actually lucky enough to get this one just like Stupor Duck off of the Funko shop. They had a very limited stock and I was able to get it for 15 bucks. And guys, crazy to think that it's went up to 500 right now. Insane guys, what a value. And I didn't think, I mean, years ago, I would have not thought that this was going up to $500 or that I'd have a $500 Funko Pop in my collection. It's nuts, guys. But closer look at Speedy Gonzalez, probably, I, you know what, I'm not gonna say probably, I think it is the coolest sculpt for the Looney Tunes Pops. Love his huge sombrero and everything. And you know, it just is Speedy Gonzalez to a T. It's kind of interesting how his mouth is open on the pop, but on the um, art of the pop, it's closed. I just noticed that, that's kind of interesting. But on the back, it's got the um, Duck Dodger set as well. But this definitely is my favorite pop, if not one, one of my favorite pops, if not my favorite pop in my collection, 500 bucks. Number one, Speedy Gonzalez. Woo! All right guys, so um, yeah, the top 10 is pretty pricey. And you know, that could change over time, but I think our, our top 10 is gonna remain the same, at least the pops that are gonna be in it for a good solid amount of time. But let me know in the comment section below, what's your most valuable pop that you have in your collection? How much is it worth? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos like this one. This was a very long video, but I had a lot of fun showing off to you guys my most valuable pops and how I got them. But like always guys, remember to be kind of one another and always promote positivity. And I'll see you in the next video. Catch you guys later.